Bro, the football guy Kelsey's Instagram comments are all trashing him for promoting the Pfizer vaccine. The brain rot is insane. Listen, okay? I just... I, I am completely unfamiliar and unaware of what's going on with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I rarely get the opportunity to do this, but who asked? But that way you bring in Taylor Swift, NFL, anti-vax, social media, anti-intellectualism like rhetoric into a super auto pet stream. We're like 11 minutes in on a Monday here. Everyone, let's just chill out. We don't need to start our week like this. You're going to get to Friday and be like, why am I so angry? Well, look at how you look at the first step you took. The journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. The first step you took was in the direction of, of anger, of insanity. Barely got the, I'm less than a third of the way through this can of Coke Zero here. We got to slow our roll a little bit. Did you see the tweet that said POV, you are a uh, retail worker? And it was a boss from Lies of P that's called White Lady? It's how I got this. I'm not mad about being spoiled. But they, it really, I mean, they're going to they're gonna spoil you any which way but loose, brother. You can't, you can't hide from the spoilers these days. They're everywhere. Thoughts on the Kevin James picture? I don't know, man. It's, it's funny. I got nothing against it. You ever made the Kevin James pose? There's no doubt. I would say from... 2004 to 2009, I was probably making the Kevin James pose anytime I was out in public. Hands in the pocket, kind of like a self-aware. It's really like the prototypical Jim Halpert looks at the camera, right? He's like, I know. I'm, uh, did I do that? Me when I make fun of you, my mother-in-law, but I phrase it in such a way that she thinks it's a compliment, but everybody else knows that it's meant as a little bit of a dig. I did see the one also that was like, is this anything? And it was that Norman Rockwell painting, free speech, but with Kevin James instead of the dude standing up to make a point. That one I thought was really good. Okay, did you see Chibli has COVID? I'm so waiting for him to make like a self-righteous tweet so I can just reply. It's, I can't stop it from cooking in my brain. But the tweet that is in my brain is, People love to go on a trans-Pacific flight to the United States of America, take another flight to an all-inclusive resort in Cancun, Mexico, and uh, probably binge drink and go in a swimming pool with a bunch of other people from around the world and then fly back on a trans-Pacific flight and then tweet something like, COVID is still out there, guys. Make sure to be careful. But he hasn't done that yet, so I'm, not, I'm holding it in, okay? I just, I saw a lot of it after PAX, you know, it was like three days of like, check out the party I'm at at PAX, check out the party I'm at. And then like w the next Wednesday, it was like the two lines on the COVID test. And it was like, be careful, everyone. It's still out there. I was like, if, if it was 1% out there, you put yourself in a 100% position to catch it. Just, just saying. I was thinking last night, why does my phone make a shutter noise when I take a picture? That's because you live in Japan. From what I've heard. Wait, I don't get that. In Japan, you can't turn off the uh, shutter sound on your phone in order to stop people from taking upskirt photographs of women in skirts on the escalators coming out of the subway stations. <clears throat> Most sane society? I think it is sane. Why? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe it's too far. But me personally, I'm like, I, I would love to know when someone is taking a photo in public. Like, people do be a little crazy on their phones. Not to give you, like, the most boomer take of all time. Did you see the one that was, like, why is uh, Manhattan so dystopian? And it was just, like, eight dudes in suits eating lunch at a restaurant while looking at their phones or typing on laptops. And I was like, what is... The hell is dystopian about this? Your, as soon as you post something like that, your phone should be legally mandated to have the, the shutter sound on. Counterpoint, how is it not dystopian? What do you mean? It's not a counterpoint. You just like ask the question. There's no point. It's not dystopian because it's just a couple dudes like eating lunch. Where's where's the where's the dis? Is dystopian that these dudes are eating lunch on their work hour? I honestly think it's kind of utopian. They're eating a delicious lunch. 
It'd be dystopian if they were all, you know, eating gruel or something like that. They were having like acai bowls and shit like that. That seems pretty utopian to me. Summertime in New York, their asses were like eating citrus. Make it make sense. Dude, I, the Chris Pratt tweet had me dying. The one that was like, his trainer had him drinking 220 glasses of water a day. He was drinking a glass of water per pound of body weight. But then I was laughing because I saw that somebody made a tweet that was like, Hi, I'm a doctor and uh, please do not try to replicate Chris Pratt's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy diet. You will get hyperhidrosis and die of like kidney poisoning. And it had 40,000 likes. And I was like, is, is that how cooked this website is? 40,000 people said, oh, I got to click like on this. This is a public service announcement. Do not drink one glass of water every six minutes. <laughs> you will, <laughs> for an entire day, you will die. Because you know some, ass, some dumbass would do it. Listen, that's, I hate to say it. If someone reads that article and says, you know what, I want to have a body like Chris Pratt. I'm going to drink 220 glasses of water today. You couldn't have protected them. They, something else would have gotten them. No matter what you did, you know, you might save them from drinking 220 glasses of water, but you're not going to save them from eating a Tide Pod. You're not going to save them from getting on the raw water diet or something like that. They're already, the, the, the scythe of death has already selected them. What about me? I was in the middle of the Chris, Pat, Chris Pratt challenge and I saw the tweet. <laughs> that you're dead, man! 110 glasses of water, I'm pretty sure it'll still kill you. What if they were shots? Okay, you might, you could make it through that because that would probably be like three and a half liters of water if I had to guess. I don't know why they all pretend it's water instead of juice. Listen, I get what you're saying, but you, I promise you, you guys, you're taking the wrong lesson from this. The dude did not say, I drank 12 glass, glasses of water a day to get fit. The dude said, I drank 220 glasses of water a day. That's like saying like his fitness routine was like cutting his own arms and legs off. You don't have to be like, that wouldn't really work. It's just steroids. Like it's just, you know, it's, it's fundamentally hilarious. We don't all need to show off how much we know. A friend's friend works as a background actor in Marvel and they totally saw... Uh, Chris Pratt with the syringe in the bathroom injecting himself in that. Listen, the dude said he, he drank like 12 liters of water a day to get fit. Do you understand fundamentally? That would make him like a, a giant squid or something like that. <clears throat> he drank one ounce per pound, not one glass. Yeah, but if he said one glass, which is really funny. There's a lot of dark stuff in the world, like always, but including these days. You don't need to find reasons not to laugh at something that's funny. If something's not funny, like a Jimmy Carr stand-up special, you don't need to find a reason to laugh. You can just be like, fuck that. But if something's hilarious, you don't need to be like, oh, but he's got like antiquated Christian values. You just be like, well, dude, be, you say you got enough, why, hey, the ocean called, they want their water back. Just laugh at it. Can you imagine this dude drinking 220 glasses of water a day and then, <laughs> listen, I'm sure, I mean, I got nothing against the doctor. But I did laugh when I saw the tweet that started with, hey, doctor here, drinking this much water would actually kill you. And I'm like, holy shit, where's my scholarship to med school, bro? I've been debasing myself on Twitch.tv. I didn't realize I could, I could have an MD next to my name. Is that what the, people are always like, oh, the MCAT is so hard. How many glasses of water a day is too many? I'm just writing 220 in that fucker. How, I guess the MCAT's probably not too much fill in the blanks, huh? Now that I think about it, but. I was being serious, by the way, when like a year ago I asked, my perception of med school is this. To get into med school, you need to be one of the smartest 2%, scholastically at least, uh, of your generational cohorts, okay? If you're 20. But can't you also just be a 34-year-old with average intelligence? 
That was always my, my perception of how med school worked, was that you could either, if you wanted to get into med school competing against other 20-year-olds, you're in the damn arena like Maximus Meridius. Or you were just a 35-year-old who like worked in an office for 15 years and then decided, I want to mix up my career a little bit. They do love non-conventional students. I'm going to write that down. Librarian, write that down, okay? <laughs> Med school arc, you against the Campylobacter. I'm so ready. My ass when I become a doctor. You would think that I would become like the best doctor of all time because of my experience in the Canadian medical system. But I will be, I will get revenge on my patients. I won't get revenge on the system. I'll be like, oh, you're sick? Oh, unfortunately it's 501. Sorry, the system dictates I can't put in any overtime. We wouldn't want the doctors to get burned out. If you're still alive in 72 hours, uh, yeah, yeah, our office opens at 10.30 uh, a.m. on Monday. I'll see you then. By the way, we're booking appointments for November right now. It would not be like a Florence Nightingale situation. It would definitely be evil. <laughs> I'm not saying I would be an evil doctor. But I'm saying if I went through all the trouble of going to med school for spite, going through damn residency, getting a a job at a clinic that is run by a business person instead of a doctor, which doesn't make any sense to me since we live in Canada, but I guess whatever. I'll be like, actually, the, person, the highest ranking person at this doctor's office is the landlord, and then the doctor comes second. Okay, just Canada things. I was laughing at the Chris Pratt shit too. So was, dude, the biggest fucking idiots are now at the top of the replies on Twitter, and it rules, because you'll see the dumbest shit of all time. On that uh, Chris Pratt drinks 220 glasses of water tweet, one of the top like eight replies was like, can I get someone to convert this to metric? I know what you're thinking. They were not joking. Also saw that, that footage of the Cybertruck driving around. Um, one of the top replies said, ooh, sexu car. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Dude, there's like all these replies LARPing. They're like, it's so nice to finally see those. I've already rehearsed what I'm going to say when I see a cyber truck for the first time in public. I'm going to say, oh, sheet, what a nice car. Uh, like a reaction gif of Michael Scott popping a bottle of champagne. And you're just like, fucking, what is going on, man? We're so good. <laughs> Like as a society, I'm keeping, I'm keep, I'm pointing now. You can't see I'm pointing. I'm pointing at this guy. I'm, I'm keeping you. I'm keeping you. Me when I see the cyber truck. The future is here now. This is epicness incarnate. <laughs> I would, I mean, listen, what do I know about car aesthetics? I know, you know, what I like when I see it, I guess. And I do not like what I'm seeing. Oh, we win these. I was happy to see that, I mean, like, you could go back and, I don't know where you'd even find the logs here, but when they showed the Cybertruck, and this was still in a period of relative, they do look so fucking similar, dude. In a period of relative Elon mania, people were still, like, very much like, this guy's Tony Stark. I was like, this car looks like shit. What the, they brought this truck to this part of the world? You got a problem? It's like a... Oh, no, it's a Toyota. Okay. I thought it was a Chevy <laughs> SSR. Do you, you remember the Chevrolet SSR? No, I don't. But what would it matter? Because um, it's just hideous. <laughs> it's probably uglier than the Cybertruck. Okay. Um, Dude, it... I saw the I saw a video of this. I don't I don't mean to piggyback off. Oh, please. Just, the, the, the quick thought I had was I saw a video of Elon driving the Cybertruck. Mm. And it actually looks kind of cool. I when it's when it's I moving. I disagree. When it's moving, I think it, with the lights and stuff, it looked really neat. I disagree heavily. I'm not going to say that there's people in our household that think that the Cybertruck looks awesome, okay? But now, as time has passed, definitely seems like the rose has turned. And people, every time they see the car in public, they're like, "This thing, it looks like an abomination." 
normalize eating chicken slash meat with ranch dressing. Am I right, people? Did you see the discourse this weekend? True, true, so true, 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 so true. <laughs> ranch is ass. Not you too, DL Guiga. Not you. I expected that from Origin, but not from you, okay? I don't even eat ranch unless it's uh, available, <laughs> in which case I'll, I'll dip a little bit for sure, but I am a noted ranch enjoyer for sure. That is true. Europeans do love to besmirch America for eating ranch dressing, and then they'll be like, oh, my favorite little lunchtime snack is uh, opening up a can of sardines and putting it on toast. I'm not saying that that's messed up. I'm saying we're all messed up. <laughs> You've got to be nicer to each other, man. We don't do that. We don't do that. Yeah, you don't fucking do the research when you insult someone from San Francisco for Americans eating ranch dressing. Bro, they're not eating ranch dressing. Ranch dressing is a $6.50 add-on at the restaurant, okay? Did you see me ratio Apollo, by the way? He said, I love taking pictures of lightning. Then I took his picture of lightning and said, POV, my prefrontal cortex when you mispronounce a word. Okay, anyway. I just, it, honestly, all weekend, all I was picturing was LeBron James saying, oh yeah, you know? Chris Pratt's telling him how many glasses of water he drank. Yeah, I've been drinking 220 glasses of water a day too. Actually, I started drinking 220 glasses of water a day in high school. It's like my favorite thing. A little aerial mist for you. Look at this mist. Isn't it neat? Doesn't it make your uninstallation complete? Don't I look like the pog? The pog who has everything. <laughs> Sorry. What is it called? Javelin tackle. I want to eat where the streamers are. I want to dolphin dive into tackle. Popping my ult when you do your, what is it called? Atomic punchline. Sorry. <laughs> so, but I can't stop. I'm not gonna, just cause I said sorry doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. Up where they pog, up where they stun, up where they spam mist all day for their fun. Wish I could.